One of the most common questions or concerns many people have about EVs is charging. Can I charge at home? If so, can I use my existing outlets in the garage? Well, the answer to both of those questions is yes. At the very least, you can use a typical 110 household outlet, which will give you level one charging or what is commonly known as trickle charging. Now it's called that for a reason because you typically only get between three and five miles of charge per hour. Or better yet, if you have a 220 dryer outlet in the garage, you can use that for level two charging, which will charge about four to five times faster. But if your dryer is already plugged into the outlet, that means you'll have to swap out the dryer plug for the EV charging unit whenever you need to charge the car and vice versa to dry a load of laundry. And if you have any experiencing plugging in and unplugging 30, 40, and even 50 amp power plugs, you know it can be quite cumbersome. That's where this comes in. It's called EV Power Share, and it will make sharing a 220 outlet between your dryer and your EV vehicle supply equipment, AKA EVSE, a whole lot easier. So here's how it works. If you have a dryer or any other appliance that requires a 220 volt outlet, you plug the EV Power Share into that outlet. Now, there are two outlets on the unit itself. The one on the left is the dedicated power source, and in this case, it's the dryer. The outlet on the right is where you plug in your EVSE. Now, once you plug everything into their proper place, you're all set to go and everything at this point will be automatic. Now, the way it works is simple. Whenever you need to use the dryer, it will power on and dry your clothes every time. Even if you plug the EVSE into your car, the dryer will continue to work. However, the car will not charge until the dryer stops. And once it does, your car will start charging and the red light will illuminate to let you know the power has been restored to the car. If the car is charging and you need to dry another load of laundry, the dryer will power up and the car will stop charging automatically. Now you'll be able to confirm that power has been cut off to your car when you see the red light turn off. Now you might be asking, why can't I dry a load of clothes and charge the car at the same time? Well, simply put, it's a safety issue and doing so will overload the circuit and create a fire hazard. EV PowerShare is a safe and convenient way to share your high voltage outlet. Now, what makes this unit the safest on the market is this. It's a thermomagnetic breaker and will cut the power off at 25 amps long before your home circuit breaker, giving you the added layer of protection. No other product in the market has this feature. It also provides surge and short circuit protection to your appliance and EVSE. The case is constructed of a durable UL94 flame resistant ABS plastic. That being said, it was carefully designed to help reduce heat. And although plastic tends to make things feel cheap and flimsy, this unit is far from that. In fact, it feels very solid and well built. It comes with five screws and drywall anchors, one extra just in case, and has a clean look when mounted on the wall. I was able to put it to the test and found that everything worked as advertised flawlessly. After 20 minutes of charging at 32 amps, the box was a little warm to the touch, but it wasn't nearly as warm as you'd expect with that much amperage. Now you might be asking, why didn't the 25 amp breaker on the unit switch off? Well, that's because it was cool out that day and based on the outside temperature, it can take as little as five to 10 minutes 
but on cooler days, it can take upwards of an hour or longer for the line to heat up. Now, since I use a gas dryer, I needed to conduct my testing at a friend's house, and out of courtesy to him, I didn't want to jack up his power bill. But the designer of EV PowerShare did post this on YouTube. Now let's see what happens if EVPS experienced overcurrent or overload because the service equipment was set incorrectly. We will increase our charging current to 32 amps, which is the maximum my mobile adapter will allow. And notice the current is now 32 amps on the LCD. Now the problem with 32 amps is that it almost never trip a 30 amps breaker, which is what's in your electric panel. Luckily, EVPS has a built-in 25 amps breaker, which will trip, providing that extra layer of protection. Though it could take some time if weather is really cold. Here it is. The breaker trips, all the sockets powers down, and your home is safe. Now to avoid this from happening, you'll need to set the charge setting to 24 amps in your Tesla. You'll only need to do this once because it will remember the setting via geolocation. Now you might be wondering why the breaker trips at 24 amps, even though the circuit breaker is rated at 30 amps. Well, that's because due to regulations and recommendations in general, you should not exceed 80% of the circuit's rated load. Now in this case, 80% of 30 amps is 24. You're taking a risk if you charge at 30 amps or more, especially for long periods of time. This is another example of EV PowerShare's dedication to safety. Now the LED readout is very easy to read and well laid out. Each reading is a different color, making it easy to distinguish between all the different measurements. The yellow number on the top line is the current number of watts being used. The white number below that is the total number of kilowatt hours that have been used by the EVSE. Now it's important to note that it only measures what your EV is taking in and not what the dryer is using, making it a great way to monitor how much you're spending on electricity to quote unquote, fuel up your car at home. Now this number can be reset at any time for your personal needs by pressing and holding the button on the right side of the LED screen. Now it's also good to know that if you should lose power, the last kilowatt hour number will still be there when the power comes back on. The number on the bottom left in red is the number of volts and the green number to the right of that is current amps being used. Now there are also different outlet configurations to suit your own personal needs. Now the earlier deliveries of the Model 3 came with both the 110 and the NEMA 1450R adapters. However, all newer deliveries only come with the 110 adapter. You'll have to go to the Tesla store online and purchase the 220 adapter of your choice. Once you know which one you're getting, then you can order the proper EV power share configuration. Now one way to make sure that you order the right configuration is to take note that the plug on your EV power share will match both the outlet the dryer uses and also the left outlet on the EV power share box itself. The outlet on the right side will match the adapter or power plug you have on your EVSE. Okay, the moment you've been waiting for, let's talk price. Now for all configurations, it will cost you $345 plus shipping. But for a limited time, if you use my discount code, you'll get free shipping. Now to help put that into perspective, that price is less than both of the main competitors. One at $20 less and the other at $100 less. Now you could save yourself some money and buy a standard Y splitter, but you run the risk of running both appliances at the same time, which can overload the circuit. And as mentioned earlier, can be a fire hazard. In my humble opinion, there are things you simply shouldn't skimp on. And if you're looking to have your EV share the same power source as your electric dryer, then you'll need a safe way to make that happen. An EV power share will give you the peace of mind you need. If you're interested in this product, I will be sure to post a link to the website along with the discount code. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I do have a gas dryer, but there is no doubt in my mind that if I had an electric dryer in my garage, this would be the route I would go. It's practical, safe, and cost-effective. A great combination. 
Well, I hope you found the information in this video helpful and useful. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and click the like button. And if you'd like to help support this channel, you can click subscribe at the bottom of the screen if you haven't done so already. Well, thank you all so much for watching and stay positively charged.